Good morning. It is Monday, May 22nd, and welcome to the Dojo Live Recap Show. My name is Kim Lantis, and joining me is my wonderful co-host, America Guerrero. Oh, thank you, wonderful host, for that introduction. <laughs> hello, hello. So what do we do on this recap show? We talk all about last week's shows, in this case, show. And of course, we're going to introduce what we've got coming up this week as well, um, as a way to sort of give our opinions, our insight, and hopefully entice you to watch those shows if you didn't get to do so. You can do that very easily on our site, dojo.com. Live. Perfect. So about last week's show, we got to speak with and learn from Bill Santana Lee, who is the chairman and CEO of Nightscope. That conversation was all about the rise of friendly robots, where we talked about how security robots are changing the landscape of public safety. If I put a marked law enforcement vehicle in front of your home or your office, criminal behavior will change. You pull up into a parking lot at three in the morning, and there's a five foot tall, 400 pound machine roaming around on its own. There's nobody remote controlling it. it. You know, the strobe lights going, it says police or security on the side. It may say something to you. There's a sound, a patrol sound that goes with it. You have no idea what it does. Like you're going to think twice about stealing that car. What were your takeaways from that show, America? Yes. Yeah, so as you said, Kim, it was all about robots and Something that it was really curious is that what we are going to talk about in this recap is somewhat in line with what I saw in the news a few days ago. Tesla announced its progress on Optimus Robot, this model that has the capability to transfer autonomous software to humanoid robots. It's, it's amazing, but anyway. <laughs> but in terms of public security, Nightscope is making big changes in the U.S., this company is providing security robots to amplify the capabilities of law enforcement officers and security guards. And I remember that one of my doubts is how society re reacts to the presence of these robots walking in the street. It's kind of weird. And it's different if you present this in the city or if it's different if you do the introduction to these robots to the society in a small town. How is that an impact? And I remember that he said, the difference is how you introduce to the citizens these robots, not if you are in one specific location. That was my question. So to make this friendly introduction is kind it's not easy. And it's something that really enjoy in this show. Yeah, I mean, it's not easy. Matter of fact, this was the, the second time Bill was a guest on Dojo Live. First time was several years ago. He might uh, not enjoy the fact that we actually mentioned Tesla on this show because I think there's a little bit of... Um, alignment right in philosophies i think if, if i recall correctly bill's idea is sort of this this crawl walk run approach when it comes to autonomous driving right and tesla all of right. course is on the forefront of the full-on car autonomous driving and getting that all over in mainstream streets everywhere but the the focus of this autonomous driving is very different right um as we talked about here uh with night scope it's all about public safety and with the use of robots um who, who roll around, right? And the idea here, and this is very, very good. And the, I think we need to take that step back of just why this need exists in the first place, right? You mentioned that it's a way to enhance police officers and security guards because there just aren't enough, right? And so there's two main components that Nightscope is focusing on, and that is just presence, right? Um, to know that there is an active presence that you are being recorded that there's someone there i think these these robots that they're utilizing have all kinds of sensing capabilities right there's the sight the smell the hearing um they're able to speak i think and i think there was another yeah. one that, that touched things i guess yeah um uh -huh. and so yeah there's like this incorporation and so just the presence um of something like that helps keep uh, criminal activity down helps keep people safe and there's also just other elements of that right even detecting things like fires or things like that. So there's this presence and then there's also this data component that they're able to collect and then build off of. Um, we even talked about how some of these robots have helped with incrimination, right, of criminals because of all the data that they were able to, to put forward um, of whatever happened in certain incidents. So it's a, certainly a really, really cool element. It's also, I think, cost effective, um, costing you know, just a couple dollars an hour uh, for companies to have these robots. There's the 24 seven 
365 component, right? Robots don't turn over. Robots don't get tired. They don't, they don't go, go home Christmas and dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas dinner. <laughs> exactly. And, and I think the idea here too of the rise of the friendly robots, it's this pushback about this idea that there's always going to be this replacement um, when it comes to AI and robotics and what will happen to the human jobs. But that's not the idea at all here. The idea is actually to get more coverage where more coverage is needed and then actually allow for those human individuals to have a more effective and potentially better paying job, right? So now instead of just being a human who's patrolling and potentially putting your own physical self at risk, you can be in charge of robots, which I think is pretty fantastic. So check out that show with Nightscope. Um, coming up this week, you know, I actually made a mistake at, at the end of, of uh, Bill's show by introducing, I skipped a week ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I introduced what we were going to be having the following week. All right. So that would be on the 30th and 31st with Juvena Therapeutics and the Lithium. This week on the 24th, we've got a conversation coming up with Rebuy and Madhav Karuna, Karana, I believe, who is their head of data science. Now, who is Rebuy? They, of course, are on a mission to provide a conscious, low-cost alternative to new products. So it's e-commerce and sustainability. We'll see how it's going to shape up. Um, so join us, of course, on, I believe, the 24th. That's a Wednesday. I think I lost my calendar here. That is right. Wednesday, the 24th with Rebuy. Um, so we'll see you then. Until then, everyone, stay safe and catch our shows anywhere you'd like, whenever you'd like dojo.live. We've got the podcast available for you as well. Bye. Bye.